Um, welcome to my little demo for my um, database project. Um, so I decided to do a recipe database. Um, and at first I started making something that was manual entry and it was just very painful to do and not very effective. And so I decided to do this instead, to use this API, um, Edamam, uh, which has some good documentation as well to um, get search recipes um, using requests and then storing um, the uh, URI or like the ID to certain recipes um, in a database. So I will go ahead and give a demonstration. So let me start. So it starts out, it prompts you if you want to either find a new recipe, so it'd be like searching the web uh, using this API or searching saved recipes. So I'm just going to do a new search, enter a word. Um, we will do, I'm in the mood for a sandwich, so I'm just going to look up sandwich. Come up with 20. And if I want to see more, I can do more. Oh, uh, these sounded good. Avocado and sprout. Anyway, so yeah, it's going to show up the perfect BLT. Let's go with that one. So then I'll show you the recipe, and it gives you the ingredients, the label, and the directions uh, are not included in the API, but they have a link to the website. So you can either click on that and go there and find the directions that I, in future work, plan to be able to um, add this to the database where the recipes are stored so that you won't have to even worry about an extra link. Um, and then it'll ask me if I like this recipe and I want to save it. So I could do yes or no. And I don't, yeah, I'll go ahead and save this one. Well, actually, I won't save it. For now, and then it says select another one from main menu. Um, I'm going to do main menu so I can show you what is in my save. So I have these three, I have my tuna melt. Uh, yeah, anyway, you can see. Then if I select one, it gives me my recipe, and then I can do it again. I'm actually going to do the sandwich again. BLT to see if it pops it faster. But it has different results. Salmon BLT. I'll go with 18. Ooh, avocado. Yes, I do want to save that one. So when I save, it'll, you can see over here, this popped up. Um, hasn't been. Uh, what's the word? Committed, I believe is the, what it is. It hasn't been committed to the database yet, but it has been executed. So then this will confirm. I say yes or no. I say yes. So that exit or that um, commits that, and you can see that it, that little extra thing went away. And when I go like this, we can see the BLT added has been added to my database file. Um, just a quick scan through the code. It was a little bit of a mess, but I was able to organize it. Um, but yeah, so here I have kind of a lot of the, here's my request where I get my request, or let's see, in the make request. Where is that? You can see I'm using SQLite. I make request. So I have uh, two options by URI um, or the make request by, oh, this is this is for any of them. So it just passes in a URL, gets my request and returns the JSON response. Um, and there's two ways of looking up. This is for searching using a keyword and this gives you a range index. Um, and this is getting it by the R, which 
in other words, it's um, using the URI in order to look up the specific recipe. So the database is actually only storing the URI, the um, an ID that was randomly generated, as well as the label, just for convenience. Um, future plans are to also, either in a separate or the same table, add to it um, the directions um, to the database because it's not from the API and also maybe a like a rating some like a rating out of five stars for example so that you can sort or search your saved recipes based off of how much you liked it and that is the conclusion of my demo